Good morning, welcome back to my vlog. Today, I'm just going to do a daily vlog, which I normally don't do, I do like one to two, no sorry, I do two to three days in a vlog. But today I'm just going to do one day vlog and then that way I can do the weekend vlog and just kind of reset. But I noticed that last night I was planning on making chia seed pudding before I went to bed and I forgot. So I'm going to make it quickly now and it takes one to two hours to set and I feel like I can wait one to two hours to eat. I usually don't eat right away when I wake up anyways and I'm not even close to being hungry. So I'm going to make chia seed pudding right now. Gemma and I have been up since like six, oh no, sorry, 7.15 a.m. It's now 8.15. So what am I looking for? So, she slept in today, which is not like her. Usually she's up at like 6, 6.30. So I was really appreciative of her letting mommy sleep in today. But she just had some oatmeal, <laughs> oatmeal fruit. And she loves these like, um, she loves these ba baby, mum mums so i always give her like one when she's done eating it's like a dessert for her because she loves them so much like it's crazy but that flavor is super berries organic super berries um, i already had my greens this morning i made a coffee but it's cold so i do have to warm it up when i'm done this and then I have I feel like I have a lot to do today but I'm trying not to overwhelm myself by saying I have a lot to do today but I have a lot to do today I'm not going to bore you with my to-do list we'll just do it together but I'm just warming up my coffee for like 40 seconds Gemma is getting feisty she's ready for a nap but I can show you quickly Seb got the kick plates in last night which is so exciting because now it actually like looks kind of complete well it is complete basically because be oh, i'm out of breath because before you could see like the legs and like underneath and it was just kind of ugly last night he also finished the handles here he needs to do <laughs> she can't read her toys so she's getting mad and uh yeah basically the kitchen is done oh my god that was a whole minute i meant to stop it it's gonna be really hot. I ended up doing my little braid, twisting it and putting a scrunchie over it just to hold it. I look like a hard boiled egg, but that's okay. I'm gonna do my skincare and makeup. I think I'm going to film that for TikTok just because I haven't filmed on TikTok in like two weeks. So I wanna catch everybody up with where I've been, etc. So I think, yeah, I'm gonna do that on TikTok. And I need to hurry up because I feel like she's gonna be, <laughs> be up soon. I don't know why I don't do my makeup every day. I just feel so much like put together and I feel like I can accomplish the world now. <laughs> that I like feel better, look better. Wait, no, it's look better, feel better, right? I think that's how it goes. I'm going to try and have my pudding, or I am going to have my pudding before we head out i can hear her waking up but sometimes she just like either falls back asleep or she just you know chills and hangs out by herself so i'm just going to let her do her thing while i get this ready that's i mean i like it a little bit thicker actually let me stir it for a second it might be okay no this is perfect actually i usually do it overnight but I didn't know it could set in one to two hours. That's what Google told me. And this is like perfect. Awesome. I like to add yogurt, strawberries, honey and granola. So I'm gonna do that. I do it in a specific order. I like to do, <coughs> let's get rid of this spoon for a second. That's my eating spoon can't put chia seeds in that big yogurt so I like to put a little bit of yogurt like a couple dots just to like extra thick and creamy and then I go in with 
whatever my fruit choice is. These are too big. I'm going to cut these up a little bit. Just like a couple so I can have a little flavor. I personally don't like honey, but for some reason with this concoction, I actually really enjoy honey. This breakfast is actually really high in protein. You have protein from the chia seeds, the almond milk. This is Ziggy's, so it's very high in protein. You have protein from the granola, and then, yeah. So it's perfect for a healthy snack, oh, oh. <clears throat> a healthy breakfast, and even lunch, actually. And you could just take it like this, put your lid back on, and go to work. Like, that's probably what I'm gonna do when I go back to work. Okay, we're locked and loaded. Wilson's been fed outside. Gemma's been fed clean diaper she's in the back there i don't know if you can see he's here in the little mirror um we have five stores to stop at five. Oh my gosh my nails don't look at them five stores i've never stopped at so many stores with her so let's see how that goes but i do need to stop for fuel first because we only have nine kilometers left and even though everything i'm going to is literally like right there I need, I need fuel because running out of fuel is my worst fear. I hope it never happens to me. <laughs> but yeah, let's go. First stop, fuel. I'm in Walmart. I got what I needed. So I came for, I came for ribbon, a yellow ribbon. They didn't have any left. I'll show you why when I get home. It's a little hard to explain. I came for wipes, which I got some. And then these baby mum mums were on sale for $1.97, which is a great deal. So I got three boxes of i think she's tried all of them so and then i showed her this outfit and she did like a little skip and smile so i had to get it it's only like 12 dollars. it's so freaking cute oh no i dropped it but now we're gonna go get some wonton wrappers for an appetizer you are a mess girl let's get your cloth <laughs> We are sitting in the LCBO parking lot and I'm like, can I bring a baby into LCBO? I don't, I feel like I can, but also I feel like a lot of people would judge me, like look at me like you're bringing a baby into an alcoholic beverage store. I don't know, I've never seen a baby in LCBO and I don't wanna be the first person to do it. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna leave and just ask Seb to go at some point. I ended up going into LCBO with her because I was like, I'm in the parking lot. I have to get a couple things. I might as well go in. So I went in and I got what I needed. The wine that I really like, it was on sale. So I got two and then I got a big bottle of sangria for everybody else. There was a girl walking in with a stroller and I was like, okay, so I'm not the only one. That's good. That's good. But now we're at Canadian Tire. I need to find gravy boats and potting soil she is almost sleeping so i'm hoping she'll fall asleep in canadian tire if not i think i'm just gonna walk around canadian tire until she falls asleep i'm in canadian tire um someone helped me find gravy boats because i couldn't find them but this is them they are on sale for 9.99 regular 14.99 they're kind of small so i think i'm gonna get two for one each side of the table and then if we need to refill them we'll refill them whatever but I might as well grab two because they're on sale. And even if we have six people at a table, which is usually the number that we have, it would still be nice having two gravy boats. So I don't see a reason why I shouldn't get two gravy boats. So we're gonna do that. I was trying to get her to fall asleep in Canadian Tire, but she wouldn't fall asleep. And I was spending more money than I should have been. So I was like, I need to leave. Um, we got the potting soil, two gravy boats, Seb's Easter present from me, back scratcher, because he's always like, can you scratch my back? And then I got a paper towel holder to hide in our cabinet because I hate it on the counter. I want l the least amount of things on our counter as possible and then i've been wanting dryer balls i want the fabric ones but these ones seem really good like i feel like they'd really hang on to like glint and stuff off of fabric so oh my god i gotta put the stroller away so i got those and i got them in purple 
I just walked in. Seb called me, got off the phone with him. But <clears throat> I got a package. Wait, is this for me before? Yes, okay. I think I know what this is. I ordered this. I'm trying to hide my address. I ordered this. I'm not even joking. Six, six, maybe even eight weeks ago. Like two months ago, I ordered this. And this is it. This is it. Oh my gosh, this is a nice box. It's from Etsy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, Bizu. It's so pretty. Oh my god. It's so pretty. Oh. Look at it. Okay, ignore my nails, please. I don't even have nice nails to sh like show off this ring properly. Okay, I'm gonna use this nail because it's at least kind of anyways that's so pretty so it's Seb's birthstone Gemma's birthstone and my birthstone with like little diamonds in the in between that is so pretty so this is the table we're actually going to make it go long way in this room and then have a foldable table attached to it. So that's why you see like this extra fabric hanging off the side because I kind of just wanted a visual of what it would look like on both ends of the table. So five people on each side because there's 10 of us. I put ribbon on this and then I got yellow and pink tulips to go in here. I have four, so like two on this table, two on the other table, in between the, the, there's a word for this and I can't think of it, eucalyptus, eucalyptus, dime, coin, I don't know, anyways, so I have 14 tulips, they're going to be divided by, not evenly, but they're going to be Divide by these four, and then I'm going to put baby's breaths in with it also, just to make it look a little bit more fuller. But I made these really cute, <laughs> these are so adorable, these little bunny napkins. And I just got like a pack of 12 of like fabric napkins, and then folded it to look like bunnies and used ribbon to hold it tight. So they didn't have any of the yellow, as you saw, so I got... What color did I get? Blue, I think. I think I got blue to go with the blue bunnies. But I'm going to do five with blue and then five with yellow. I do have seven of these made, so I will have to take two apart or like just take the ribbon off and retie it with the blue ribbon. So yeah, I showed you what I got at Canadian Tire. I'll go my nose. I need to keep the Canadian Tire receipt which i have no idea where that is i meant to like keep it i think it's in my bag because i don't know if this is going to work or if i'm going to like it this is my thought process for this we have cleaning supplies on this side so i was thinking of like mounting it on the door and then that way it's hidden it's off the counter i need to organize this this was also on my to-do list today it's just it's just so much to do but I hate things on the counter. If I could have it my way, I would have a plant, maybe a candle, and that's it. I don't like things on the counter. I want very clean counters. No show socks. Got the spin dip. No long tongue wrappers though, that sucks. I got this for lunch. I have no idea how I'm going to make this. Where's the instructions? Oh, of course they're in there. Okay. And yeah, I think that showed, that showed you everything else I got. Those dumplings were actually so good. It was the Sum Vegetable Dumplings. Comes with your sauce. It was a little hard to cook, but I think it was the pan that I used. I hate the pan that I used. Um, but they didn't get crispy and they kind of fell apart. So I think I'm going to use a different pan next time and do it a little bit different next time. Not so much water, maybe, and like a little bit more oil so they don't stick. I don't know. But I will definitely be getting these again. But I didn't look at the macros. I'm not counting my macros. I used to be one of those people, which is fine if you are. 
Um, I used to count macros, watch what I'm eating, make sure I hit my carbs and my fat and my protein and stuff. And that's when I was like leaner and more fit. I'm still slowly trying to have a healthier relationship with food. I'm a binge eater, so I will go sometimes all the way up to like 3 p.m. without eating. And then from 3 p.m. till I go to bed, I just eat everything in the house. That is, <clears throat> excuse me, that's where... I've been going wrong so that's why I like to meal prep my breakfast which is chia seed pudding and it's healthy for you high protein delicious it fills me up and then for lunch I'm I haven't quite figured out what I like for lunch I'm the type of person also to find something that I really enjoy eating and make it every day for six months and then switch it up by the way I went to go um unpack my gravy boats and I was like why is the box still heavy it comes with like a little, don't mind, don't mind this. It comes with like a little plate. Look how cute. But I do need to tidy up the kitchen, but I still have so much. I'm, I'm a little overwhelmed. I have a little bit of a headache. I think I'm going to take my contacts out, put glasses on, which is the first thing I do when I have a headache if I'm at home. Because if I wear my contacts for too long, I feel like I get a headache. kind of a lie sometimes I can go a whole day without contacts I think I need a second coffee I also need to clean up in here like <laughs> it's funny the house was a disaster I caught up I did a deep clean I was the house was looking good for like three days and now I feel like I'm stepping backwards <laughs> I washed the bed sheets and I don't know if it's the dryer balls I just bought from Canadian Tire or if it's these sheets, but they are so soft and I don't recall them being that soft before I washed them. So it might be the dryer ball, but let me see what this is made out of. Soft, light, and just right. It is actually so soft. That's the name, Sasti, Sass Sasti, oh my gosh. Sasti off um, Amazon. The reason why I got this duvet cover is well one of the reasons is because it has a zipper the duvet cover that i was using before it had um buttons to like keep together and every time you pull the blanket up it would just like you could hear the buttons like popping like they were snaps and then they have ties which every duvet cover should have a tie why can't i find the material like it just says how to wash it, it doesn't say what material it is what we're looking like these three pillows I just randomly had laying around that looks yellow <laughs> compared to like the white in this so I think these yeah wait what okay these pillowcases don't come off wait what it's weird it's like sewed but I can put a pillowcase over top of them so I will measure these and get new pillowcases, something that will match. And this was just from like a really old bed, like bed set that I had. There's a long white one like this downstairs. So that might look okay with like the short one here. But that definitely needs to change. That actually looks really ugly. But for now, they're staying. Cute. That looks way better. It's not even, but don't look at that. Looks way better than just white. It's been a couple hours. I was just kind of hanging out with Seb when he got home from work and I finished the little bunnies. I also put Gemma to sleep. She's down for the night, but I wanted to show you the placemats that I got from Amazon. They just came in. They actually look really nice. There's six of them. And then these. there's four of these. These were a gift from Winners for, I think, 
Like I got them for my birthday or something from Seb's mom. So there'll be four of these and six of these, which is perfect. Now I actually have enough placemats to host, you know, 10 people. I'm not going to do a cup because I don't know what people are drinking, wine, water, beer, like they can just get their own cups and then we have the eucalyptus so just imagine it going and then we have tulips and it'll look really nice i try to be prepared but whenever seb and i are hosting a dinner barbecue whatever it may be i feel like him and i are always running around the last minute and my toxic trait is like waiting till the last minute to get ready i'm still one time we were hosting i was still in the shower when people showed up <laughs> and usually i'm like still doing my makeup or doing my hair or trying to find an outfit or something when people arrive this saturday i told myself when seb's like hey i want to host easter i told myself i was like i am going to be prepared so then that way saturday when i wake up i can get myself ready i can get Gemma ready i can prep whatever i need to like cut the vegetables peel the carrots etc get everything laid out and then just chill I don't think I showed the vlog, but I made this today. It's Gemma's footprints. Oh my gosh. Gemma's footprints. And then I painted this part. A couple like extra paint got on there, but it's so cute. It looks like a mouse. It's supposed to be a bunny. I think I should have like elongated the ears a little bit, but that is something that's been like what I've been wanting to do for weeks, not weeks, probably like a week now. So I finally got around to it. My next project that I was going to do tonight, but I think I'm going to wait till tomorrow. This plant is outgrown this pot. So I'm going to line this basket that I got from Walmart with plastic and then transfer her over, cut the handles off, and it will look like a planter. That's a hack if anybody wants to know. But yeah, I think that's it. Seb is grocery shopping. He... I was like, hey, like, listen, I was out for two hours today. I got the wine. I got everything I needed for the table. Can you go get groceries? Because everything's closed tomorrow and I don't want to go grocery shopping on Saturday. Like I told him, let's be prepared. <laughs> so he's out grocery shopping. I gave him a list. Hopefully he comes back with everything. <laughs> but yeah, it's eight o'clock. I think I am going to quickly shower, wash my hair and then just relax. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys had fun spending the day with me, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.